Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Backyard Beer Brothers. My name is Rory Doherty and today I actually have a very special beer that I'm going to be drinking today. And it's this one right here. So there's a couple of reasons why it's a special beer and I think the first part is that it comes all the way from Colombia. So it's actually brewed in Bogota in Colombia and it's called the Club Colombia Dorada. Uh, now I'm going to butcher this but the brewery is called uh, Suvisuria uh, Bavaria. But there's also another reason why this is a very special beer, and that's because uh, another YouTuber, one of the brothers, uh, Dave from Swilling Grog, um, another reviewer, I'll put their, uh, whatchamacallit, channel down in one of the descriptions or in the uh, comment. Uh, but he actually sent through a couple of beers, and it's one of those things. Whenever I've ordered beer, whenever it arrives, it's always like an exciting time because I know what I'm going to be getting. But then when someone else sends you beer, I suppose it's kind of like a roll of the dice. One, it obviously, any beer is appreciated, but if someone gets you like a rough beer, then you kind of like grit your teeth like, oh, thank you very much. I had that not so long ago. Um, <laughs> it's going to sound real stink like I'm just unappreciative, but um, a guy that I used to work with, he, um, yeah, he had some Steinlagers. And he was like, oh, I bought them because I, I knew you're from New Zealand and, you know, I'm sure all New Zealanders like Steinlager. And it's kind of like, for those of, from Australia, it's sort of similar to a Foster's, you know, everyone says you should drink Steinlager and so forth. But as a New Zealander, I never really drank Steinlager. But deviating a bit. So this beer package arrived from Dave from Swilling Grog, opened it up, and I can honestly say, haven't tried any of the beers in there. So of course, that takes it up another level, getting these beers you've never even seen before, awesome. So a big shout out to Dave, really appreciate it. Uh, I've actually had them for a little while, I had a couple of other episodes stacked up, so finally got time to get into these and had to start with this one. So come in, let's do it. The other part of course though, because I've only got the one, I'm only going to be doing the one uh, beer today rather than trying to see if it's scalable at the end. But I'm pretty sure I'll be able to tell whether it's scalable or not just from drinking it. But it's looking pretty good so far. So there's the bottom. So it smells. So not too much on the nose. But like it's still got the <laughs> still got the berry smell. Man that seems amateur but it still has like the uh, sort of slight Multi, maybe even slight weakness to it. There's also like a, I said it before, rust, but it doesn't have the rust, but it's sort of like more of an irony metal smell. As far as the color, pretty clear. Got a nice golden color there. Heads hung around for a little while, but you know, the smell and the look only gets you so far. Let's get into the taste. Man, that is pretty good. Damn. So there's only like a, like the slightest of bitterness there. It is super clean, super crisp, very easy, super sessionable. Mmm. Sort of, yeah, no hotness to it at all, but it's got like a, like a nice sort of multi, but like very balanced as well. It's pretty good. It kind of reminds me of, um, well, I, it does, I was going to say, it reminds me of kind of like, again, I'm probably going to butcher it again. Uh, they were introduced to me as Dos Equis, a Mexican beer. And it's just because those, I'd never had them before. Now, the first time I ever had them was my cousin Kevin on my Bucks party. A whole lot of us bought different boxes of beers. That's what he bought. And then ended up, that was the first box. And I got drunk just because everyone was drinking them. And it's because of the sessionability. You know, if you're looking for like a hot Ford craft beer, IPA, something like that. Or like a darker, more solid beer, like a porter or a stout. Nah, but this, 
very easy drinking. Mmm. Damn. <laughs> it kind of sucks. <laughs> it kind of sucks. Just saying that by itself, that sounds bad, but it kind of sucks in the fact that I've never seen this before. And it's such a good beer. Mmm. You know, there's like a slight lingering flavour, which again, awesome. No, yeah. <laughs> kicking goals for this bit. Mm. Dave from Swilling Grog, you've done good. So I suppose with the questions, would I buy this again? Yeah, I could see myself buying this again. Would I buy it on tap? <sighs> Mate, I've never even seen it in the bowl. I don't think I'm even going to see it on tap. But um, would I buy it for someone else? Yeah, maybe. I don't know if I would buy it as a gift. And I think it's just kind of... It's a weird realm to be in of just buying someone random beers. Oh, actually, I probably could. Yeah, but the main thing is, will I buy it again? Yes. As a skull, I'm almost 100% sure that I'll be able to skull this. But with that, again, if you made it this far, really appreciate it, of course. Feel free to hit the like, hit the subscribe, leave us a comment, and as always, I hope you have a good one. Gee, wait, hang on, I haven't given a score out of 10. Out of 10, I reckon I'd give it a solid, uh, probably in between like a 6.5 and an 8. The main thing is the session ability. I think I could drink this all night, maybe a couple of shots in there to get on that level, but no, nah, I could definitely see myself kicking back at a barbecue happily with a cooler, esky, chiller, chili bin full of these. It'd be awesome. So there you go. Let's just go with a 7.75 out of 10. But like I said, appreciate you watching. Have a good one. Cheers.